Welcome back to part 12 of the Austin Metro Rebuild. Thanks so much to all those who've subscribed and please do subscribe if you haven't already. In this video, I'm going to be tackling under the arches, getting them ready for uh, stone chip. <laughs> at the minute so I've rubbed down all the areas filled in where the number plate holes were obviously they're welded up as well but there's a bit of a dip there was a, a tiny bit of a dent here and this still is where the bumper bolts on but to be honest with you I don't want to fill it because in all likelihood it is there's a chance of it cracking so I'll just shim that when the bumper goes back on. Found a tiny bit of surface rust here, which I've wire wheeled down. I just need to sand it flush and put a bit of treatment on it. Tackle inside there. On the outside, it's fairly well practiced. It's not far off. I just need to go over it with some panel wipe, find the low spots, put a bit of uh, stopper filler in them, and then I can prime it. Bonnet has got a quick coat of etch primer on it, just on the outside. As you can see, still need to do the inside and then that can be um, scratched over and primed as well. Roof's all sorted as well. This is as good a place to cut in as any. I've actually decided not to take off all of the stone chip because it's done such a good job of protecting the metal. I'm just gonna sand it and feather it back so that when I put more on it, it blends in well. You can see I've got rid of every bit of surface rust that's on there. So we'll get some treatment on it now. Wait right a minute, once it's flattened down. And then it'll be ready, so I'll need to order up some stone chip. I still need to go around the inner lip of the arch and the two rear arches. So I suppose that's the next job to be getting on with. All right, more time on the dreaded arch. For anyone that's ever done this before, you know exactly what I'm into. See, that's the 
There you can see the rust that is just on the inner arch. It, you can tell it's not gone through, but it's still enough to need to get rid of it. So crack on with that. And uh, in fact, I'll show you the first bit, first bit of removal. Let's see how it goes. Necessarily enjoy doing the car up. Alright, so let me update you. Sills all rubbed back. Brush treatment's on. It's just ready for a wipe down. But I'd rather have too much on than too little because it's never going to do any harm. So that's the sill. It's absolutely solid. Just want to make sure nothing can come through. Show you the rear arch. Again, similar thing, I've caked it in rust treatment. So it's not gonna do any harm. The few bits of surface rust that were in there, totally covered and will be absolutely perfect afterwards. Rear panel, rust treatment on as well. Just waiting for that to dry. The outer rear panel, again, Perfect. The driver's arch. All coated again. No rust, no holes, nothing. The subframe could do with being dropped, to be fair. But this is the, the outer body really we're doing at the moment. And then the last thing, which was the actual first thing that I did, the driver's side sill. That was mostly prepped already, so all that wanted was a bit of rough treatment on the bottom. And there we go. primed as it needs to be and that's both the rear I've done a, a coat of etch primer on all the bare metal areas and then I've put some stopper filler just in a couple of spaces there was a bit there as well so I've got that in a tiny bit just on the front I'll rub all that back I think what I'll do is I'll put it on a, a time lapse um, and I'll just start scotching some bits of the car because you can see here I just need to start rubbing all that back. I'll scotch all that back with um, some panel wipe I think. The roof's just about done, it's just ready for some high build. Bit of overspray just from the extra primer there which I'll clean off with some thinners because I don't really want to repaint there. The rear panel is looking okay. Again, little bit of rubbing down needed. To be fair, the high build would probably cover all of that, but I'm gonna still, I'll rub it back with the, uh, with the DA a bit. Where the number plate holes were, they're all okay. Again, a little bit of the stopper filler here. I do know that that's covered by the bumper, but while it's all off, I might as well get it right. Including under the back. I'm not going any further than that, because as I said, it will be getting an underbody restoration at some point, and it is solid enough, so I've just done the, the bit that I need to. 